I'm here with Professor Ralph Dieter Poyer, who is the Director General of CERN. Uh, thank you for joining us. I want to ask you, first of all, there was a big announcement from CERN on July the 4th about mm -hmm. the Higgs boson, this long sought particle. Have you actually found it? Well, I think I, ha I made a concluding remark at the, at the seminar, and I'm still sticking to the same <laughs> what I said there, namely, as a layman, I would say, we have it. Okay. As a scientist, I must say, what do we have? Yeah? Because we still have to investigate its properties. Mm -hmm. It looks very much like the Higgs boson. Mm -hmm. But it could be something slightly different. It could be one of several. It could be a, a family, so we don't know exactly what it is. But that we are very close to it, I think, is true. Okay. But I can't stick out my neck much further, otherwise in a year you tell me you, you said something <laughs> wrong, okay? So plenty of work still to, still to go to oh, verify tremendous, this, see what's Tremendous there. amount of work. Okay. I think we had a historic milestone on the 4th of July, but it was the beginning. Yes. Can I ask you how you felt about the media coverage of that big announcement? That took off around the world. Did you, do you think media covered it accurately? I think, first of all, the media coverage is great. Mm -hmm which also shows that the public interest is huge, yeah? because both go together. Mm -hmm. And I, what I could see and read was m mostly reasonably accurate. Yeah? I think we, we meanwhile have a very good way of communicating between the scientists and, and the media. And usually the media pick it up in the way we express it. Mm -hmm. That sometimes you go a little bit in one or the other direction, a bit further, that's your job. Okay. Something the media do know <coughs> is they refer to it as the God particle. That's kind of a lay term for it. How do you feel about that? I don't like this expression so much, but I have used to accept it. Okay. I have, I'm, I'm, been, I'm used now to accept it. And you, as far as I know, it came about because Leon Ledermann was writing a book and the t he had suggested a title to his publisher, The Goddamn Particle. And the publisher said, come on, drop the goddamn. <laughs> okay, and that became the God particle. The God particle. Okay. And at the announcement, I mean, you, you knew in advance what was going to be announced, did you? Sure. Okay, but still, you must have felt a huge sense of emotion in the auditorium, the packed auditorium. How was but it? It was not only that the auditorium was packed, I had told the, the, the personnel that we opened the doors at 7.30 for the 9 o'clock uh, meeting. And uh, before midnight, the first ones were camping in front of the door, because we don't have so many seats. Mm -hmm. It was a fantastic atmosphere. And I'm not sure if I still have digested what happened. But uh, it was an emotional moment because, uh, but I think it will still take some time for me to digest it, to let everything sink into it. Okay. Um, in terms of Ireland joining CERN, do you <coughs> think that's a good idea? Well, of course I'm biased. For me it's, it would be a good idea, but it's up to the uh, Irish government to decide that. But uh, I think Ireland is a country with, with a lot of potential. And uh, I think what's important is to, to have the brains joining. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 it would be really a very, very good signal, not necessarily only to the researchers, because the researchers can come anyhow to serve, but it's for the private enterprises who can develop new technologies together with them. With them. And you can only do such projects with modern technologies, with forefront technologies. You learn a lot there, and you can afterwards have it as a reference. Yeah, that helps a lot. You can get engineering posts at uh, which is only possible for members. Mm -hmm. I find it a good idea, but it's not up to me.